Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I have been a little MIA lately. Um, last week was Thanksgiving and we went to Disney World and Universal. We did six parks in three days and then we had Thanksgiving with my husband's family and my parents came with us too. And so last week was just a bit exhausting for me. Um, so I'm finally back into the swing of things and I thought I would share with you guys the items that I picked up um, on Black Friday. So I will start with the items that I picked up at Ulta. First thing in here, I picked up this little It Cosmetics travel set. It comes in this little wrapper comes on it and there is a foundation brush, a powder brush, and a shadow brush. This was $10 at Ulta on Black Friday. Um, shipping was free because you had to spend $35. So this was $10. And then you just open it up like this and there's three little brushes in here. I have not tried any of these brushes yet. Um, I am excited to try them. They're all small travel size, like this is my hand gripping them, nothing's coming out of the bottom. They're all small travel size products. So, let me take them out of their packaging. Okay, so this is what the foundation one looks like, and here it is compared to my hand, that's how small it is. Um, it's really, really soft, but like I said, I have not used these yet, so I do not know anything that they are like. Um, this is the powder brush. It's nice and fluffy. Um, I, it would be nice to use for like even a blush, um, a bronzer, anything like that. I don't know if I would really use it for an all-over powder, but I could even powder under my eyes with it. Um, but yeah, that's nice. And then here is the shadow brush, which will be a great all-over shadow brush. So yeah, that was just a cute little set. Um, the next $10 item I picked up was this Bare Minerals Regal and Radiant 3-Piece Complexion um, collection. So I wanted to try like a powder foundation, um, but this has Bare Radiance All Over Face Color, Mineral Veil Finishing Powder, and a Mini Flawless Application Brush. So, I've already opened this. I did try out the All Over Face Color the other day, and I realized that it's like not really all over face color. It was actually pretty dark for me. Um, this is the tiny little brush that comes in the set. I did try to use this brush, but it really just wasn't that great. Um, I'm sure I could find a purpose for it, maybe under the eyes or something, but I wouldn't use it all over your face. But here is the color. It's called Bare Radiance. Yeah, so when I open it, this is what it looks like in the pan and then this is what it swatches like so I'm gonna assume that this is like a blush or bronzer color because um, this would not work for my skin tone obviously so it, I will definitely retry it as like a blush color I went to put it on my face and I was like this is way too dark I cannot put this on my face so I still need to try a powder foundation and then this is the mineral veil finishing powder which I did not try yet. I haven't even opened it. So I'll just go ahead and pop this thing off. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So you can't really see a um, swatch of this, but this is what it looks like. It's just a light, um, almost white, but um, just a light finishing powder. I will try this out and let you guys know what I think about it. Okay, the next item I got for $10. So I got three items for $10, which gave me $30. And I got a couple of small things in here. Um, this is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Lip Serum Hydrating Anti-Aging Color Correcting Cream Gloss. And I got it in the shade Laugh. Um, I did try this out the other day. I didn't really read the description, I guess, when I bought it. I just thought it was a lip gloss, and my lips started tingling. And then I read on here why. It says it's with clinically proven collagen, peptides, and hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid, plus nine essential butters and oils. So it is a plumping lip gloss. And when I, I thought that these were pigmented, I thought that they had a lot of color in them, but when you put them on, they're actually a sheer gloss, which I'm pretty sure the, no, the box didn't say that. 
but I when I put it on my lips it could be just because my lips are this color I don't know that's the color it is it's actually a really nice lip gloss and I really enjoy it um, but I will put like a lipstick under it just to give it a little bit of color but other than that it is really really nice lip gloss okay so the last few things in here so um, the Real Techniques were buy one, get one, half off. So I did pick up two, um, were they buy one, get one, half off? Maybe they were buy one, get one free. No, I think they were buy one, get one, half off. I, can't, I think they were buy one, get one, half off. I can't really remember. Or they were half off. But um, So I did pick up the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Um, I used this a while ago before my cats destroyed it. In the back of my mind, I always wanted to try the Beauty Blender just because, you know, I couldn't get out of my mind. So now that I've tried the Beauty Blender, I want to go back and try this again and to see if I like it. Um, I did use it the other day, and I did like it, but I think I like my Beauty Blender a little bit more. I'm going to have to try to keep using this and see um, how I feel about it again. The only thing I don't like about this um, is that it's not as squishy as my Beauty Blender. Like, my Beauty Blender I can squish all the way through, and it's nice and pouncy on my face. Um, but I am definitely going to give this another try and see how I feel about it, because it is a whole lot cheaper than buying a new Beauty Blender every time you need one. And the second Real Techniques item I got was this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And I used this the other day as well um, for foundation, and I actually really liked it. Um, I've heard people talk about this brush for a long time now, and this is what it looks like. And I really, really liked it. I think it would be great for blush, for bronzer, contour. I guess that is why they call it the Expert Face Brush, because you can really use it for almost anything. So, with that being said, that's all the items I paid for at Ulta, and they also sent me this little sample bag, which I will share with you guys. So, they had like three different sample things. It was like a hair care, a perfume, and then a mix bag or something like that. So, I chose the mix bag. So, in this little bag, there are two samples. So, one is... Lumine Finland Time Freeze Instant Lift Serum. So I'm guessing this is for your face to um, give you like an instant lift. Um, it says you can use it under your makeup as well. And then I also got this Cots Coats Flawless Complexion Healthier Sunscreen. So it's blemish free it says, sunscreen, so that's good. You can always need sunscreen. Even if the sun is not out, the clouds are out, you still need sunscreen. But yeah, that is everything I got from Ulta, so let's hop into Sephora. Okay, so for my Sephora items, um, I got three of their $10 pick up pick-me-ups. You know, they had the little specials for $10. Um, I only got three of them, so I used my VIB coupon for free shipping. Since I wasn't going to place another order until they sent me a $20 coupon this week, then I will probably be placing another order, <laughs> but I might go into the stores and do that. So the first thing I want to share with you guys that I got was this First Aid Beauty little $10 box. And inside is the Ultra Repair Cream and the Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask. So I'll show you the sizes. So the Ultra Repair Cream is actually a pretty good size. Um, it is 2 ounces and you can use it for pretty much anywhere. It's safe for sensitive skin. You can use it all over your body. Um, it has oatmeal in it. And it says to use to hydrate dry, parched skin, relieve minor irritation due to eczema, and other conditions for the face and elsewhere. So, yeah, you can use that anywhere. And then the little mask... Um, that comes in here. We actually did this mask the other night, my husband and I, and when I was finished with it, my face felt so smooth. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. I've only used it once, so that is my first impression of it, but I really enjoyed it. Um, you leave it on for 10 minutes. It's supposed to nourish, smooth, and calm the skin, and is safe for sensitive skin. So yeah, this was actually really nice, and I'm glad that I picked that up. Um, the next thing that I picked up was this little Tarte Cosmetics $10 box, which I thought was awesome for $10. It says it's a $41 retail value. 
Um, so it includes the Maracuja Oil, the Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Blush in Fancyful, and Lights, Camera, Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. And I've, I already opened this. I didn't use anything out of it yet, but I did take the tissue paper and stuff out. But yeah, here is the mascara. I have not tried this mascara yet, so I'm actually really excited because I've been wanting to try this. And then here is the Maracuja Oil. And it says, at night, apply two to three drops of maracuja oil on your hands, rub them together, and apply to clean, dry skin on face and neck. So I am actually really excited to try this. Um, this dropper is really cool. If I can get it open. Because it has like, this is how it looks. And then it has a little button at the top, and you just press it. So it's actually really, really cool. I'm excited to try this out. Um, but I have not tried it yet. And then here is the blush that you get. It's in the shade Fancyful. This is what it looks like. Let me get a swatch. And there it is right there. It's a really pretty light um, blush color. It's just really, really pretty, and I'm excited to try this. And these are supposed to last you for 12 hours, so that's awesome if they really do. So I'm excited to try that. Let's see, the next $10 little duo I got was this Smashbox primer pair. So it comes with a tiny sample of the primer water and then a tiny sample of the photo finish foundation primer. I just picked this up because you can never have too much primer and I am loving this Smashbox water so I figured for $10 why not pick up this duo because this is the duo I use on most days. But it, it is really really small like teeny tiny these are. So this is the photo finish primer. So small. It's 0.25 ounces. And then this is your photo finish primer water. I mean tiny. It looks like a little roller ball of perfume. But this is great to travel with and I am just loving, loving this Smashbox water. So I just picked that up to have a little extra in my um, collection here just so I don't run out. So with Sephora you know you get three samples with your purchase and then you also can get I also redeemed 100 points for a point perk so I'll show you what I got with my point perks which was this Bare Minerals Pop of Passion Lip Oil Balm and it's in the shade Plumberry Pop and it's a teeny tiny one too but it's great to and, you know, pop into your bag, um, anything like that. This is what it looks like. And let me show you. And that's the swatch. It doesn't come out that strong on my lips. It actually just blended in really nicely, and I really, really enjoyed it. And it was really soft on my lips, and I would definitely be interested in finding the full size of these and trying it out because it was just so nice on my lips. Okay, so for the three samples that you get... I kind of popped them open. I didn't do anything with them. I didn't try them yet. But um, this is the Ren Skincare Wake Wonderful Nighttime Facial. So I can't read the directions. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this, is a, this side is in a different language, and I can't read that. Um, so it is phase has three phases. It says to this um, skincare line. See, transforming overnight treatment that works like your overnight facialist to brighten, revitalize, and deeply hydrate skin by morning. So how it works. Phase one, the exfoliator. So it says it repairs uneven texture, encourage cell turnover, and reduce surface pigmentation. And then phase two is the massage. Um, so it energizes, revitalizes, and heals the face. And then three is the hydrating mask. Um, it raises the skin's pH and attracts water to the skin to plump and deeply hydrate. So I am really excited to try this. Um, maybe I'll try it tonight. And the next thing I picked up, um, next sample, was The Secret to Sando Eyes by Bobbi Brown. And when you open it, it comes with two little samples of her eyeliner and this tiny little eyeliner brush. So the colors that it sends you are black ink and steel ink, which is a black and like a charcoal gray. And then these are all the colors that are available um, in this long wear gel eyeliner from Bobbi Brown. If you guys were interested and wanted to pick that up. But I was pretty excited to see Bobbi Brown in the sample area. 
Then the last thing I picked up is this um, Giorgio Armani perfume. It says C, I guess. I'm assuming. Psy, C. Um, let me see. I can't remember if I like the way it smelled or not. Um, it is a little strong at first, but it actually blends out really smoothly onto your skin. Um, I'm trying to describe the smell. It's hard to describe the smell when you're just talking. Let's see what they describe it as. They didn't describe it as anything. Hmm. No. But, um, it's definitely a feminine, florally smell. It's pretty strong. Um, but it's actually really nice, um, when it smooths out on your skin. And I really did enjoy it. So, that was everything for Sephora. So, I will, next I will be showing you everything that I got from Walmart. Okay, so for Walmart, I'm going to start off and show you guys this cute little hoodie jacket that I got. This is the hood. It's gray and has just these corally little strings. And then it's just a regular little hoodie here. Kind of like a sporty material. And then it has a pocket. And yeah, like these little corally accents. Um, this was $8.00. On Black Friday and I really love this so far I've been wearing it all week it's not quite hot enough here to not wear a jacket but it's not cold enough to not wear one so I'm that's like my in-between jacket um, and I really like the colors and for eight dollars you really can't beat it and next thing I got was this little corally orange sports bra um, this was $4.50 um, I don't really like this because it's not that supportive. Um, it's nice to wear like under, um, like a tank with a bra in it, but, um, other than that, it's not really that supportive. I just wear it around the house when I'm cleaning or whatever. I'm not really going to wear it to work out though. The next thing I got was this three pack of gloves. I've already worn this pair. It comes with a black, a white, and then this little black and gray chevron pattern. These were also $4.50. Um, I just figured I could throw a pair in my car. I could throw a pair, you know, in my purse, wherever, in the closet, wherever I may need them. And they're fleas and they're really warm and comfy. And the next thing I got was this cute shirt. Um, Marilyn Monroe. It's hot pink and it's fuzzy. It's fleece shirt. Um, I don't know if this is really supposed to be a like a sleep shirt or a wear out in public shirt, but it just says plush pullover. It doesn't say like pajamas. So I'm guessing you can wear whatever you want because this is really cute and I would hate to just wear it to bed. I would kind of want to wear it in public. So yeah, I think this was also eight dollars. But it's really really cute and I can't wait to wear it. And then I picked up this pack of washcloths, they're just gray and white. These are like $1.60. Um, so I just picked them up to have some extras in the house. Let's see here. Um, the next thing I picked up was this little SD card. Um, I figured I could never have too many around here. It was on sale for $10, bucks, so usually $20. Bucks. So I saved $10 on a 32 gig SD card. And the next thing I got were, I got two packs of leggings. Um, these were on sale for four, fifty. no, I think they're like six dollars maybe, I can't really remember. But this pair has a denim and a black, and then this pair has a black and a gray and black like leopard print, I guess you could say. So yeah, I picked those up. I'm a little worried though now because... Like, these are a large, and I also got a large in the yoga sets, and the large in the yoga sets was too big. But I'm hoping that these won't be too big. I just didn't want my leggings to be, like, super tight up my butt. So hopefully they will work out. And then the last things I got were these yoga sets. I got two sets. Um, I've already worn them, so these are washed and wrinkly because I just folded them up and put them in here instead of, you know, putting them in my drawer and fluffing them and stuff. So one has a um, aqua blue shirt like this. And then the other set has a hot pink shirt. These were $8, $6, 8 or $6. I can't really remember. I think they were eight. And then they just come, each one comes with a pair of just regular black pants. 
nothing fancy about them but like I said they're a little big so I'm hoping that the leggings won't be as big as these are but yeah that is everything I picked up from my Black Friday shopping um Billy picked up a few things he got some shirts and stuff from Walmart and my mom got me this mirror with a jewelry cabinet in it like it, the mirror pops open and your cabinet's right in there but it was my Christmas present so I can't have it till then it was on my list and then she saw it and she was like oh she's like well I'll get it for you for Christmas so that we'll have to wait till Christmas but yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed I hope that you had a great Thanksgiving and stay tuned for some Christmas tutorials some DIYs things like that and yes, if you want to, please follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram, all at TanyaMarie715. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.